Hello everyone and welcome to a new Alliance War video. Today we have the Undead Horde war type. And let's begin with our first adversary. I'm gonna try using my anti minion team, the Grimble one. I don't really need dispel so I can go for regard. This is the troop setup, so we may begin. The basic idea is I can use regard to cleanse her minion attacks, more else uh, defense down. Uraeus is uh, sand damage if he applies it, because I need to have minions for it to apply. And I have three purples versus his double yellow team. I don't have any greens, even though he has two blues, but whatever. <clears throat> and... Yeah, I can set them up to die on counter-attack. I'm trying to figure out a way if I can make... Uh, hmm. Three certain matches, but I can't, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay, <laughs> now I can. <laughs> and even in one move. Okay, more I won't do much here. So I'm afraid of Scuddy in this war type. But she is a monk, so I'm not gonna try to use Lepiota on her. I'm gonna do it to Uraeus. And now I just need to make... <clears throat> I need to make Bira fire. Let's get counter-attack going. Good. I'll use Asmia now because the minion hits will uh, boost my counter attack. So now it's 100%. And I'm waiting for the minions to come to use Green Bull. Okay, she's been hit, so now it's 110. 105 here, 105 here as well. We have a bunch of minions to eat. Good. Let's rinse and repeat. Mm, they wanted to use my use the yellow diamond before Odin fired, but this is still okay because they have com I, mean, I have counter attack <coughs> and a bunch of healing as well. First target is dead. Actually, no, that's the second. <laughs> Uh, wait. Will the minions spawn in the next turn? I'm not sure. I think yes, and I think this is a mistake. But I'm gonna give it a shot anyways. Let's make the fire. No, 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 we should be good. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, good. I made her fire before the minions had spawned. Uh, let's make him fire as well. Maybe he dies to counter-attack. Beautiful, beautiful board for this attack. So many purple tiles. Awesome. Okay, now this should be our next target. I'm gonna try using my green anti-minion team. You can see another Guan Yu is almost ready to be deployed, but for now he'll have to wait. 
And since this is a Bira tank, I can use Alexandrine. And it should be quite effective. There's two blues. One of them is on the flank, another flank is red, so we have two blues on my team. The only problem here is... Wow. Uh, I don't have a way of countering Octros if he fires. Do I want to go for the diamond? Nah, actually I think this is a better move. Yep, it definitely was. I'm pretty sure this kills Bira, which is not so good for me, but... <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna use the diamond to set up another diamond and charge my greens. The dangerous part is on this side, and that's Scuddy, both dead. Now I can use my two snipers, that's not enough. I'm gonna heal because my Alexandrine should be charged again after using this. And also these two blue tiles might crit him. Yes, perfect. Octros is dead. You know, it's funny because I just recently had a conversation with uh, one of you guys, one of my followers, uh, subscribers, about the open boards and how they impact the game and the outcome and how it's really, really crucial lately because if you don't get a good board, you don't have a lot of time. <laughs> You're basically dead in a few moves. But luckily, I did get... A good board in both of these attacks. Now I need to figure out what what's my last move. I'm gonna try a strategy that I used versus Gossek and that's to play with my purple heroes, with my purple team, because that way I avoid damaging him until I can kill him. It usually works, but it's still kind of risky. But since there are two purple heroes in the opposing team, I'm gonna... Uh, two yellow heroes. I'm gonna try it. Not the best opening board this time. Let's see what we can do. We're dealing damage to him unintentionally. Oh, but we got our greens charged. Ah, now this is a risk. I think I will try using them. Really, three hits on basically a dead target. I actually need this guy to fire before Gossip. Okay, not too bad, because his HP is even boosted at this point. Gosh, okay, so... Hohenwerf is firing. Uh, he can be dangerous with his mindless attack. Um. I'm pretty much forced to do this now. Hmm. My purples are dead.
We should still be fine, to be honest. Now I need some good hits from Kongla. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited to see if someone gets revived. Let's make small moves. HP. Uh, the board keeps keeps getting locked, which is not something that I like seeing. My greens would get will get charged from not doing anything, but I cannot make such a move. I can pull... Oh, okay, this is the only move I can make to charge my greens for sure, because I can't let uh, Ludwig die. Hopefully we can just... Oh, now I can. Still, the board is so locked. Let's go for the purple match. Okay, that's not like damage. He is full HP. That's kind of the point of this team. And also RNG. And that's why we, we're not trying to kill the healer. He's helping me, actually. And at the same time, okay, we have two stacks from uh, Kongala on him. Let's use them here. So now he got the stacks, but he didn't take damage thanks to his stone skin, which is still kind of working in my favor. Nice, and I can charge Latvig again immediately. Now we can use. This is why I was supposed to wait to see if someone is revived. Last time. Okay, let's heal. I can use Ahotep and he might dispel their stone skin. Nope, not this time. <laughs> no hits on <laughs> Gossip. So let's kill the healer now. We're running a Titan schedule. His hit should be pretty mild. 98, thanks to my taunt and uh, plus 84 defense. Again, special skills and thanks to his... Uh, ba or basically thanks to me reducing his attack. Or not me, but Ludwig. Now let's get rid of him because he has more mana. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. A really scary team, in my opinion. But we disassembled it strategically, and we actually left Gossip as the last man standing in their team, which is kind of weird but and hard and counterintuitive at first, but yeah, that's basically my way of dealing with him, and this time it worked out really, really well. For the next phase, and for our next target, I want to go for this team. And I'll add Unite to Jesus' anti Zenolfod team. Oh, actually, I'm missing uh, something here. I need to save Gulen Bursty, so it would be like this. Until I get my double costume Vivica up and running. Okay, then. Uh, 
So the idea here is that I can counter. I can kill them with counter attack, basically. That's the main notion, and I can try to kill the left flank with tiles, perhaps. And I can counter, that's what I was gonna say, kind of counter Scuddy <coughs> with uh, Jean Francois. Hmm. How do I make the most of it? I think I take this match first. Oh wow. Do I go for it? I uh, I don't think I have an option. <laughs> so let's do it. <laughs> nice. That's great. Awesome. Let's make Scuddy fire before the minions. Or kill her before the minions. That works as well. With Unite, my tile damage is a lot, a lot better. Um, maybe we can avoid her firing completely. I need to stall for one turn without disrupting my match. Uh, this is the only way I see how. <coughs> So I've purposely left Glandre now. Okay, because I would I would have been able to um, turn defense down to defense up. Okay, maybe didn't need to heal there. I actually don't even know what was my HP. Okay, this should kill Scud. Yeah, no. Nope. I have dodge and counter attack, so I'm not ready. Okay, got one stack. What's the damage on you now? 701, I believe. <laughs> including the passive, so that's amazing for a 4 star. Although... He is limit broken. Nice. Hmm. It's kind of tough to choose which team I want to go up against. So I cannot go, uh, I'm gonna take my blue team now, so I can't go after Guardian Kong. And since I have a lot of minions, I don't want to attack Bira. So Bira is out. And now I need to choose from these teams. I think Hulda is too tanky for me. So I'm left with this option, that's probably the best one. Although, taking greens here can be interesting as well. Do I have a strong green? Uh, not enough. Hmm. Nah, I'm gonna go for the team that I wanted to use, which is this one. Ah, uh, what's happening? Wait. Okay, let me just check something. Does she cleanse first? No, she, she summons minions first, so taking her versus Bira wouldn't be a good idea. The troops are set. I love using this team as long as I get at least a few tiles, uncolored tiles to begin with. Which I did not, but... We can make something happen here. <coughs> mm. Let's take the match and hopefully... Okay, good. She's not charged. Now she is. And now we can send a bunch of tiles into her because it won't change anything. Okay, bring me some blues. Okay, I have the matches that I need. It just takes some time to get... No, okay, that was lucky. Hopefully, Mindless Attack doesn't ruin my plan. Oh, okay, nice. Wait, what? Oh, that's not the hero I thought it was. Okay, <laughs> even better. Yeah, we're not gonna risk it here, so let's just do this. 
I purposely moved the tiles that way so that I have less greens under him and uh, that will help me not charge him when I do this. Huh, yellow match. No! No! He had to target her in, particu in particular. No, my other healer, healer is dead. What? Oh, the slash attack. No. This was going so well. Fenrir can clutch this, but... He didn't survive. Oh my god, that's so unlucky. I had my healers ready. Ah, it's too bad. I rushed it. A bit, but damn, I felt too confident. I thought that I had a win secured. Let's give him, give them hell now. <laughs> well, that doesn't didn't take too much. Ah, I'm so sad that I messed up the last attack. I mean, you know the one. Still 259, quite good. I guess we, we, we have to be happy. Like, our team did pretty well. Quite well, actually. So, yeah. That would be all for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And I hope to see you again in the next video.